engineer versus programmer. In a recent interview, someone asked, what's the difference between an engineer and a programmer? And the example that I gave was that an engineer is like a poet and a programmer is like the translator that converts that poetry into another language. An engineer solves problems. Scotty from the original Star Trek was an engineer. He solved problems. He didn't just maintain the engines on the Enterprise. He made them do things they were never meant to do and came up with interesting solutions to, to problems. Think of an engineer in a lot of ways, like the person who designs your car as an engineer, but you take it to be maintained by a mechanic. Programmer versus engineer is a similar type of example. The programmer is taking the information that was provided in a project requirements document and building that to those specifications or is taking a product that's already been built and resolving the bugs and small issues in the software that have cropped up over time or through small use cases. This is the difference between a programmer and an engineer. And a lot of people think that, hey, I went into computer programming, I'm an engineer, but it isn't necessarily the truth. A person who is a programmer is often self-taught or went to college and learned programming, but may have not have learned the problem-solving skills, management skills, and scientific method that is required to actually be an engineer. One of the ways that I often classify the people who've worked for me to determine whether they're an engineer or just a programmer is the degree program that they went through. As someone who doesn't have a degree, I can say that I'm a little biased against people who have gone to two-year colleges in order to get a degree program from something like ITT Tech. While ITT Tech will teach you programming, they don't really teach you the deep scientific method in order to do problem solving. Some people naturally have those skills and just need to learn the structure of the languages, but to really be an engineer you need to be challenged on a regular basis with the types of thought problems that come from a four-year degree program at a good university. Not all universities are the same and definitely the types of problem solving that you'd encounter at Stanford or MIT is a lot different than you'd get at a small local college.